Hi, my name is James Frank, Country Manager for Solace and Virtue in South Africa, and I've been in this role and representing Solace in South Africa since June of 2019. My daily responsibilities revolve around managing our marketing teams, our sales teams, our technical support staff, and also our after sales and warehousing uh, efforts within the region to support our distributors and also our installer based customers. And my journey into the solar industry actually started very really accidentally, and had a little bit of light hearted discussion. But yeah, it was not the intention at the time. I was working for a distributor company, uh, more focused on industrial uh, engineering, sales of automation and instrumentation products. And one of the company's customers had uh, some bad luck on the site and I was asked to investigate and assist and literally got thrown into the deep end. And uh, never looked back since that day. So uh, yeah, it got very accidental, it wasn't intentional. I think this happened a very short while ago. We have been working on a really large utility scale project for quite some time just over three years now. And we were recently uh, awarded the order for a really large 1.2 gigawatt site, uh, which will be quite a, a milestone for Solace in South Africa, and also for the biggest part of the continent. So, uh, and I'm hoping that this will entice other private investors to move in this direction and do private funding of larger than scale projects. It all depends, in my mind, on what will happen with governments, private sector, and the investment in that sector. I think right now, the TV industry is probably one of the biggest secure employers in the country, so that, for one, definitely and provide the most opportunities, not only for employment, but also in truck years. There's a lot of solar companies starting up every year. Um, and then in Africa and here, they provide some of opportunity for utilities to take up PV, implementing PV, utility scale projects, smaller scale, microgrid projects, the opportunities are endless. Provide the right investment comes from the right and for the right reasons. But I do believe the growth will be exponential over the next few years. Uh, Africa's got solar problems, or power problems. South Africa's got power problems, which I don't believe is over quite a long shot, uh, in my own personal opinion. But we are on a huge uptake within the African continent. If you look at countries like Germany, which is decades ahead of South, South Africa and even Africa in terms of solar uptake, mm. they are still on a rise in the amount of solar being installed every year, year on year. The market is still increasing. So if we take that as a base and Europe as a base, we are still in an infancy in South Africa. really to empower more people to enter the industry, to train properly. And actually not one thing, it's coupled to something else, and that is encouraging more investment. With private funding, government, institutions, and anybody that can influence the outcome of the availability of power throughout, not just South Africa, but the continent of Africa. Uh, I think that would be if I had the power to do that, I think I'll focus on that.